How Biden's proposed tax plan will grow U.S. chip supremacy against China. The silicon semiconductor microchip market is a very complex thing. This complexity is further worsened by the fact that the stakeholders involved are diplomatic enemies. Though China has set itself up to lead the race in chip supremacy, the U.S. cannot be left behind. As such, U.S. President Joe Biden has announced a new tax plan to help in this regard. First of all, what is chip supremacy and why exactly are microchips so important? The answer to that question has to do with the fact that technology has quickly been advancing over the years and is taking over more and more of our lives. So far, about 5 billion people have access to the internet. These individuals flock to cyberspace to communicate with others, tend to their entertainment needs, and even get work done. Now, the thing is, technological devices that facilitate internet connectivity all contain silicon microchips. These devices range from smartphones to laptops to tablets to even basic appliances like fridges and toasters. So you see, whoever controls silicon microchip production and supply also controls the manufacturing of these information technology devices. And if these information technology devices are in short supply, then the livelihoods of entire populations are endangered. Now, chip supremacy is a term that describes the situation where international superpowers such as China, Russia and Germany seek to control the microchip market. The world is moving into a technocracy and anyone who controls the technology will have a great advantage over all competitors and rivals. Ever since the Biden administration took over the United States following Trump's departure, they have had to put out fire after fire. The shortcomings of the previous government were many, creating so many problems for the new government. But now that the new government has had time to settle, it's time for them to pay attention to old problems. One of these problems is the trade war between the US and China, of which silicon microchip production is a prime factor. Much like regular wars, trade wars cannot be embarked on without some serious capital. For this reason, the Biden administration came up with a unique tax plan to raise money. The revenue generated from this tax plan will be funneled towards the development of the domestic tech center. There are plans to establish a silicon microchip manufacturing company, which has thus far been the forte of Taiwan. Now, even though the US is full of other microchip manufacturers like Micron, they have so far not been able to match Taiwan's TSMC or the Taiwan Silicon Manufacturing Company. Having been established in 1987, this company has taken years to perfect its craft and now, through its efforts, entire firms, industries and countries are supported. Biden's tax plan, which aims to raise money, can't guarantee chip supremacy based on that alone. After all, there have been so many other companies that have raised capital on this scale before. The thing is that microchip production is very complex, and throwing money at the problem won't necessarily generate results. In any case, through trial and error, success can become a reality. That is, if the US can afford to waste time that way. There are definitely some methods the US can use to accelerate itself on the path towards chip supremacy. We discuss a couple of them ahead. One of the ways the Biden tax plan can help the US silicon microchip manufacturing industry is by poaching talent from other nations. This technique isn't new to the US and has been weaponized by themselves and China as well. Though Trump's administration wasn't too immigrant friendly, the Biden administration can turn that around. So many talented individuals from impoverished countries are seeking to immigrate to the US and live the American dream. Why can't that dream be centered on silicon microchips? Another path the US can take towards chip supremacy is to strengthen ties with Taiwan. Although the two countries are already allies, there are always ways to strengthen that bond. Considering the fact that China has threatened to invade Taiwan in the past, the tiny Southeast Asian country must be skittish and nervous. Perhaps the US could preempt such a move by taking diplomatic ties with Taiwan to a new level. That would be sure to dissuade any invasions as America itself will have an excuse to respond in kind. Whatever technique the Biden administration chooses, the fact of the matter is that the tax plan is a great idea. Though some are skeptical, the US is unlikely to fail, given the immensity of what is at stake. In any case, the silicon semiconductor trade market is incredibly complex. Inasmuch as both China and the US are rivals, they also rely on each other. We hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot about Biden's tax plan and its relation to achieving chip supremacy. 
If you want to learn more, feel free to check out other videos on this channel. Until next time, take care.